Hey guys, Dakota Cohen here from Cohen Farm. We're just out uh, seeding some uh, oats and peas and a 10 species cover crop mix for feed for uh, for our milk fed pork and our and our chickens. So as you can see there we've got some oats and peas, but we're also doing something else that's pretty unique. We're we're seeding, uh, like I said, 15 other species along with this. Uh, one of the things we found that was really useful to do is to seed at least two crops at once. So we're seeding an annual, the oats and the peas. We're also seeding a lot of biennials along with that. Uh, in this case, we're seeding rye and hairy vetch, uh, as well as sweet clover, red clover, all site clover. And, uh, and we, all, we also have a lot of, of uh, some uh, tillage radishes, turnips, there's some, uh, some beets in here, um, some kale, just a whole variety of, of species. And every single one of these species is designed to, to basically, you know, create the, the conditions for soil health. <clears throat> so this is, um, this is the no-till drill that we just picked up a couple years ago. And you might ask, well, why'd you get a no-till drill if you're gonna till? Well, we've been playing around with a bunch of different cropping systems because obviously tillage isn't great for soil health. You know, basically just imagine putting, you know, one of the most diverse ecosystems on the planet into a blender, and obviously that's not gonna be great. <clears throat> but the thing is that if we wanna grow annu annuals like oats and peas for our, our chickens and our pigs, we need to, you know, have, a, have the conditions for those annuals to grow, which is basically a disturbance pattern. And because we're, we've been organic for 30 years, we don't use herbicides, we have to have some other means of creating a disturbance event so that we can get those annuals established. So we've been playing around with a bunch of different systems, and this is just one of the things that we've been experimenting with, is uh, trying to go for you know, maximum disturbance with, uh, for a short duration, and then a long rest period. So this is another tool we just picked up this year. It's actually a field rototiller. Uh, it's <clears throat> eight feet, eight feet wide. There's a crumb roller on the back, and it allows us to take this and, in a single pass, turn it into this, which is just you know an absolutely perfect seed bed for what we're trying to do here. And and, and the amazing thing is, you know, we still got a lot of you know earthworms here and i can't go more than more than a few inches without <clears throat> without uh you know pulling up all kinds of earthworms some of them have been you know killed but there's a lot of them that are still you know in full in full swing <clears throat> and as soon as these annuals get established they're going to be right back in there doing what they do best which is converting organic matter into high quality plant nutrients so basically what we've done with this system here is, is this was an annual crop on last year, but in order to, to, to you know, plant the annuals, we had to till it at least six times. So, you know, it's like, again, taking that, that ecosystem and putting it into a blender, not once, but six times. And what we found is that that repeated uh, low intensity uh, disturbance, it just, it creates, uh, it really damages the soil health. So we, we start to get, you know, uh, you know the, the soil starts to dry out. We start to um, see a loss in the soil structure. And, you know, this, this idea of, of, you know, planting annual crops this way really came about after a lot of experimentation in, uh, in our gardens. Because we've been using a rototiller, just a smaller version of that, for about five years to plant cover crops in our garden. And it's worked really, really well. And so we thought, well, let's, let's scale it up a bit and see if we can do it on the broad acre. So this is a 10 acre piece that we're in right now. And if all goes well, you know, this 10 acres will produce enough uh, wheat, uh, sorry, barley, uh, sorry, rather oats and peas for all of our chickens and all of our pigs for a full year. You know, we could get upwards of, you know, 800 to 1,000 bushels <clears throat> plus high quality straw that we can use for our livestock. Uh, right through the winter time 
and and you know that's that's really exciting because you know the uh, having to you know one of our goals in the farm is to produce everything we can from on the farm and um and you know and then anything that we can't produce on farm we we purchase from other certified organic farmers so <clears throat> now one of the other things i wanted to show you guys is is uh this is a nice big cow pie here and uh up until about you know a couple a week ago our cows which are now up on the hill there behind me oh camera left <laughs> they're um you can see them they're they're uh they're now grazing in, in our in our pastures behind us and uh and so now we're uh, th they were calving in this area uh for about a month and the reason we had them calving here is because we knew we were going to be doing this and, and we wanted them to actually help uh, graze down some of the the annuals from last year there's some volunteer uh you know oats uh there's some grasses there's a lot of clovers that we put in to help build a lot of soil fertility but the other thing that these cows did is they added a ton of manure to the soil. So if we flip this guy over, you'll see just all them critters in there just digging around. There's dung beetles. There's, you know, we got some centipedes in there. There's tons of earthworms. So all these guys are busy, you know, building the soil fertility, which is going to help in a single pass, in the single disturbance event, we're going to come through, create the ideal situation to grow some really nutrient dense, you know, oats and peas for our livestock without damaging the soil too much. So, <clears throat> you know, this is just one of the experiments that we've been working on and it's you know, turning out really great. Hopefully we can get this seeded before it's too late here. The sun's just going down, but uh, I thought you guys would enjoy that. I got to get back to work. We'll talk to you later.